Okay guys, in this episode I'm going to talk about Bayesian mechanism design. Uh, well, the dominant strategy mechanism design and the Bayesian mechanism design, they share a lot of common, commonalities. The only difference is that the equilibrium, remember each mechanism given with the private information, I mean the preferences, induces a game. And so we need a solution concept to solve those games. And so in the dominant strategy mechanism design, our solution concept was dominant strategies, uh, weakly dominant strategies. Here, uh, our solution concept is Bayesian Nash equilibrium, all right? So this definition is exactly the same definition of Bayesian Nash equilibrium I provided in our earlier chapters. So here is the setup. So the set of types, type profiles is a finite set, let's suppose, and theta, which is a vector of uh, types, uh, assuming that we have n individuals, so this is a vector with n dimension. It's a randomly chosen according to some probability distribution function, let's suppose, f. So we assume that each individual knows this probability distribution. Sometimes we call this prior belief, so all participants have same belief, and everybody observes his or her true type, theta i. Uh, in order to distinguish the random variable and the realized uh, realization of this random variable, I'm going to use theta i upper bar, which denotes a random variable. All right, so this is basically a random variable about player i's type. And obviously, whenever I say minus theta minus i bar, it's the random variable about the uh, opponents of player i's uh, types. And theta i and theta i hat, a prime, when there is no bar, is just realization, okay? All right, a Bayesian strategy in the mechanism, remember mechanism is basically consisting of the outcome function and the message space or strategy space. Well, a Bayesian strategy is a mapping which basically maps each type of each player to a message, all right? A profile of Bayesian strategies, M, uh, which maps each profile of types into a profile of messages, is going to form a Bayesian equilibrium or Bayesian Nash equilibrium if, uh, well, I mean, don't be scared of this. Uh, again, when I talk about Bayesian Nash equilibrium, I open up this expectation. It basically says the following, expected utility of uh, 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 playing this strategy is greater than expected utility of playing another strategy. Playing this strategy means what? Remember, I am trying to show or define that M is in Bayesian Nash equilibrium or Bayesian equilibrium. So given that my opponents are playing according to M uh, sub minus I, I'm sorry, <coughs> sorry, and I am playing M I, well, my expected utility is this term. Well, how do I determine this? Well, first off, the G, the outcome, depends on the message profile we gave or we submit, right? My message depends on my type. My opponent's message depends on my opponent's type. But the thing is, when I take this expectation, I don't know my opponent's type. So this is a random variable for me. So. I have an outcome, but that outcome depends on the realization of my opponent's true type. So my utility function also depends on my true type. And so I take this expectation conditional on the realization of my type. So maybe this F uh, is IID, meaning everybody observes his type and this probability is independent, or maybe there's a correlation of types. And so this basically allows all my expectation is conditional on my observing my own type. So when I observe my type, that may or may not give some additional information about the type of the other players, and hence the uh, 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 condition. Well, this expected utility should be greater than the expected utility. Again, my opponents are playing according to this strategy M, uh, but the thing is I am playing something different. And then once again, I'm taking the expectation conditional on my type being theta i. And this inequality should be true for all the players, 
all right? And for every type of player I, and for any other strategy. So basically, playing according to this strategy profile is best response for all the players at any possible type that uh, players may have been, all right? So that's what forms a Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. Okay, so let's continue. A direct mechanism or a social choice function, F, uh, which we assume has two components, the decision rule and the transfer function, is Bayesian incentive compatible. Bayesian incentive compatible. If truth is a Bayesian equilibrium, meaning telling truth is a Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. All right? Uh, well, there might be a bunch of other Bayesian-Nash equilibrium uh, of this, uh, under this social choice function, but truth should be one of them. If it is one of the Bayesian-Nash equilibrium, well, then we call a uh, social choice function is a Bayesian incentive compatible, all right? Well, what does that mean, by the way, truth is being uh, Bayesian-Nash equilibrium? Here, I just opened the utility function. Well, the expected utility uh, of telling the truth, well, the VI, which depends on the D function. So theta i is my true type. <coughs> I'm sorry again. I don't know my opponent's type, so this is a random variable, theta minus i bar. And then the transfer function. Uh, well, again, conditional expectation should be greater than or equal to my expected utility of uh, declaring some other type, theta i hat, okay? Uh, keeping my opponent's type uh, random variable at least the same. And so this should be true for every individual and for every true type and for any lie. All right. So telling the truth should be Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. Again, there might be a bunch of other equilibria, but telling the truth uh, should be uh, Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. All right. Now we also have a revelation principle for Bayesian uh, equilibrium. So if a mechanism mg realizes a social choice function. What does that term mean? I'm going to explain it. But if it realizes a social choice function f in Bayesian equilibrium, then the direct mechanism f is Bayesian incentive compatible. All right. So basically the same revelation principle. It says you don't really have to look at complicated mechanisms, complicated message spaces. Just ask people what their true types are. All right. Uh, well, if if there is some indirect mechanism, I mean, uh, indirect mechanism which implements this social choice function, well, then trust me, this result says, by just asking people, you can still implement uh, this social choice function. I mean, not implementing, we just call it realizing. Uh, a mechanism MG realizes a social choice function F in Bayesian equilibrium if there exists a Bayesian-Nash equilibrium M, which is a function of uh, a type profile of this uh, mechanism MG, such that the, the, the outcome function uh, is always going to give us the social choice function for every type profile, all right? So given the type profile, the outcome, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, social choice function f is going to give us f of theta, some outcome. And then, uh, given again the type profile theta, the players are going to play m of theta. And this message profile, once we plug it into the g function, the outcome function, its outcome is going to be exactly the same as f of theta for every theta. Well, here, this is not implementation. Uh, the reason is, uh, remember, there are multiple equilibria. I mean, there might be in some, uh, under some mechanisms, uh, there might be multiple equilibria. Telling the truth, multiple Bayesian-Nash equilibrium. Telling the truth could be one of them, uh, but there might be a bunch of others. So the here we say uh, this, this mechanism MG is actually going to, uh, we don't say implement because we don't, require that all the equilibrium of this mechanism is going to lead to the same outcome of F. So this is a way too strong requirement, which we do it in implementation theory, uh, which I'm not going to cover in this course. 
here what we're saying is that all we need is just one equilibrium of this mechanism and this equilibrium is going to be outcome equivalent with the f of uh, I mean the, the social choice function if this is the case well then we say the mechanism realizes the um, social choice function f and then you know what if there is a mechanism realizing uh, social choice function f you don't really have to worry about this complicated game well just look at the uh, direct mechanism well trust me it's Bayesian incentive compatible uh, thanks to revelation principle in uh, Bayesian equilibrium but once again uh, the dominant strategy incentive compatibility is way stronger not only because uh, dominant strategy is a stronger equilibrium concept uh, it basically says uh, whether my opponents tell the truth or lie I don't know I don't care telling the truth is a dominant strategy for me all right here however if my opponents tell the truth telling the truth is a dominant uh, I'm sorry in, in, in an optimal strategy for me but what if my opponents all of them lie well then maybe lying or is is could be an equilibrium for me too so uh, multiplicity of equilibrium is a problem in Bayesian uh, mechanism design uh, however in dominant strategies we don't have multiplicity of uh, 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 dominant strategies right I mean if we have uh, some equilibrium which is dominant strategy equilibrium well then it's either unique or all the other equilibria will give exactly the same payoff to all the players okay so there's no multiplicity problem there uh, however in the Bayesian concept we may have multiplicity and so uh, here we can't really say uh, the mechanism fully implement a social choice function uh, what we are just looking at is that telling the truth is an equilibrium we don't uh, demand that it's the only equilibrium uh, only thing that we require is that telling the truth is just one of the equilibria okay I'm going to present you a mechanism which is very similar to VGC uh, mechanism and uh, it is actually uh, Bayesian incentive compatible uh, so here is the theorem so suppose that types are independent all right so each player's type is independently drawn from the other uh, agents types and then the if, uh, decision rule d is efficient and the transfer function satisfies this so I'm gonna uh, spend a few minutes on this later then the social choice function with this decision rule and the transfer function is Bayesian incentive compatible and on top of that the transfer function is balanced all right well don't forget this theorem is true under the assumption that the utilities are quasi linear meaning they have the vi plus transfer iti uh, sort of structure okay otherwise this theorem is not correct um, okay so what is this transfer function similar to the vcg mechanism transfer uh, we have two components um, but obviously we have expectations so here I think it is very similar to the VCG mechanism we are just summing up uh, the utility the V the benefits of all the other players except player I and then a taking expectation obviously because for player I uh, the other players true type is a, a random variable well then the second part well the second part is slightly different so what we are doing here we don't have a maximum uh, of uh, you know summation over the decision rules but instead what we have is the following so what we do for every player different than player i we calculate his expectation uh, well how can we calculate well the mechanism designer calculates a player k's expectation uh, depending on player k's declaration of his type all right so given his declared type um, a mechanism designer calculates his expectation of well for the society where we exclude uh, this time player i what would be the benefit the sum of the benefit of all the other players including i by the way all right so we take that expectation we do this for all players except player i and then we basically take the average and then subtract it and this is exactly 
uh, 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 what the transfer is going to be. All right. So once again, given that the decision rule is efficient and the transfer function satisfies this, uh, the social choice function is always going to be Bayesian incentive compatible. Uh, again, under quasi-linear utility function assumption.